Hello. In the previous lesson, we were able to style the search and title section. In this lesson, we're going to see how to properly display the project listing section so that it looks like this. And for us to do that, there's nothing really new, but just a bit tweak and we'll be there. So let's leave a comment to just say project listing. We're just going to say project list. Under the project list, we're going to target the classes. And still, we can as well just copy this and just copy the project list class. First, we want to target is the H2. To be sure of what we're doing, let's look and make sure that we have a project list class. Mm -hmm. Then, if we check it, you can see that we have project list class. Then we have H2, which is very cool. So we can as well still add this project. Now let's have our declaration. So we want the fonts to be like 20 pixel. Then we want the line height to be zero. Line height, just want it zero. So you can see that there's no space between the P tag and the header, which is very cool. Now let's target the P tag. We want to just give it color of a light gray. Um, okay. So you can see that the P tag is having that. The next is to target the UL. So we want to remove all the default styles from the UL so that we can apply what we want. Now what they have in the design is just something like a minus or a dash before the list. We're going to do something similar to that as well here. So let's have UL. In the UL, we want to remove the default style. So let's just have list style of none. We didn't target the UL. You can see that the list style is out. Then we can say position, one position of relative. This will become very handy when we are doing position absolute. We want margin of zero. Let's be precise, margin left. Then margin, we we'll want padding again. Padding left, zero pixel. Let's add pixel here. If we save it, you can see that it's now maintaining the appropriate line, which is very cool. Let's use before pseudo class to apply something like a dash to our style. So let's have before then, let's have our li. So we want to just target the li specifically and let's give it position of relative, then color of we want the lighter, okay, we need to end the column there. One color, this is the color we want. Then we want the margin left, margin left to be 15 pixel. Let's see what we have. If we refresh, you can see that we have margin left just a bit. So let's declare a pseudo class. The pseudo class is written like this. We want it before. So like we want to apply content before each of the list. So we need to use an entity, entity that will give us something like dash, let's say two six, then it's A. Let's see what that gives us. You can see the dash, which is cool. 
we're going to say position of absolute absolute. Then we want it to move to the left. Remember, we give it margin of 15 pixel. Let's just give it margin of minus 15 pixel. So if you look at it, you will see that it's starting from the beginning, which is cool. Then we want to move it top a bit. Let's just say top minus 5 pixel. Refresh, you can see, and it's falling place, which is cool. Now let's target the images. Let's give the images some declarations. Let's just remove what we have here. Let's remove the pseudo class. Then we want to, we're removing the UL as well. But this time around, let's target the meta. Let's see why we should target the meta. You can see that we have the meta class. Let's target the meta. Then let's target the images. So what we can do here is we want the width to be 50 pixel, the height as well to be 50 pixel. Then we want the border radius to be 40 pixel, border radius 40 pixel. This should give us like a round curve, which is cool. Then let's apply border, border color. So we're going to have four pixel solid. Then let's have white. This can be red. This can be black. You can see. But let's make it white so that it's going to be transparent. Or as well, let's use the Alice blue. But how do we move it to stack, just like what we have here? Let's see what we can do. Let's duplicate this one. Then we want to add a special class called stack. So whichever image with the class of stack, we want to apply, let's say margin left. Margin left of like minus 20 pixel. For refresh, nothing is happening yet, but let's go and add the stack class to some of the images. So let's just say class called the stack. Let's copy this class. Just have it here. Okay, the browser is not loading, so let's just check here you can see that we have a loading here also let's use Google Chrome instead then you can see that it's stacking which is very cool okay this is downloading as well which is very cool so which means that we need to apply the same class to the rest so whenever we have the image or contributor more than one we're going to add the stack class to it. Here we have three. For refresh, still loading. Let's come back to our Chrome. You can see that we have the stack images, which is cool. Let's close this. Seems is not really loading. Let's bring in the Chrome. All right, Chrome should work better for us. All right, so moving forward, let us display flex these images and just like what we have here. You can see the image and the button on the same line. For us to do that, we can just duplicate this, then remove those and just display flex to the meta class. Then we can say justify content space between we want margin top to be 50 pixel. 
Yes, let's refresh, you can see, which is very cool. Okay, so it's time for us to add padding to our project, each of our projects, so that we have like a white background and also apply some little shadow to it. So when we duplicate this, we're going to remove this class and add our padding. So let's see what we need is padding. We want padding, 20 pixel, top, 20 pixel, right, 20 pixel, bottom, then 60 pixel for the left. We want a lot of space here so that we'll be able to add this category. Okay, that works. Let's add uh, the background of white. We're just going to say background color of white. As you can see, we have background color of white. What we can add again is box shadow. Box shadow, we can say one pixel, one pixel. Then we want like 40 pixel blur. Also, let's use RGBA. But this time around, we're going to use 0 0.01. We want something very light. This can be 0.1, you can see. But 1, 0, 1, something so light. We want the margin bottom to be like, we want to separate them. Margin bottom. Margin bottom to be like 20 pixel. Border radius, let's do 10. Then let's say position of relative. Okay, this is making sense already. Let's see on our smaller screen. You can see on the small screen, looks nicer, which is very cool. So right now, let's target the category. We want to be able to add category style like what we have here. So let's declare our category. We are just going to have, so let's remove all of this one and let's have the category. Category spelled that way. Now let's declare the width. The width, let's give the width like maybe 30 pixel. Let's give the height of 50 pixel. Then let's give the background color of, let's say, yeah, something Rebecca purple. Yeah, so we have something like this. Now let's declare border radius of this top angles to be like 10 pixel. And for us to do that, let us have border radius. We're going to have zero pixel, 10 pixel, 10 pixel, zero pixel. That should give us what we're looking for, which is very cool. The next thing we want to position it is, let's position it to absolute. Okay, so it's position absolute. Let us send it to left, zero. You can see, so that is sitting properly. But right now, we need to be able to change the colors. So I'm just going to declare some category colors, just random colors that we can apply. So let's say category color one. We can just say background color. Then let's have it the Rebecca purple. But let's add importance. Let's have another one, which is going to be color two. Okay, I think let's have the first one to be tan. Something like a light gold. Then the third one 
which is going to be three, let's have Sandy Brown. Let's have the fourth one, which is going to be light cyan for light, let's say light cyan, okay, just light blue. Okay, so these are the classes that we are going to apply to our project randomly. Although this is going to be done based on, so once the project is live, is connected to a server, these things are going to be attached dynamically. But right now, for the essence of this section, let us add code it and let's put in manually. To add it manually, let's come to category. So these are the category. So let's start from the beginning. So we can just have category, color, let's say one. You can see that you have the first, which is cool. So let's go to the third one. This is, let's just copy this one and just give it category of three. You can see, then let's give the third one, we can say third one can be four. You can see it's four. Then let's make the fifth one. We can make the fifth one to be one. Uh oh, that's attaching it to the wrong class. We need to just attach it here. Let's make it two. So I think let's attach it to the last one. The last one should be here. Okay, let's have three. Okay. So right now we have the colors attached to it manually which is cool. So if you check what we have on the design, it's more similar to what we have, which makes a lot of sense. And that's how we wrap it up on this one. In the next section, we're going to look at how to display or style this project segment. So this is more like the recent project segment. It's going to be fun. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media and do so that you'll be notified each time we release new tip. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.